Good morning. Welcome to all students, all the parents, grandparents, family, community who's joining us this morning to celebrate Yom Atzmo Tufshin Pei Aleph, Israel's 73rd birthday. We thank the generosity of the Robinson family for sponsoring this morning's celebration and all of today's activities as part of the Sheldon and Frida Robinson Israel Studies program. We also are honored to welcome representatives of the Israeli consulate in Chicago and the Midwest, the Av Aviv Ezra, the Consul General, and Daniel Ashheim, the Consul for Public Diplomacy. Welcome and thank you for joining us. In a few moments, we're going to hear some words from Mr. Ezra. It's a special moment of pride this morning for Hillel Torah, in addition to all of our celebrations across the ocean in Israel just a few hours ago. Roni Bell, Hillel Torah, class of 2014, received a prize from the President of the State of Israel, President Rivlin. She was one of 120 soldiers that were, that were chosen to be uh, awarded a special prize for their outstanding achievement. And Roni, after graduating Hillel Torah and the Academy, went on to be a lone soldier and to volunteer and she represents our dreams, and she represents the spirit that we inculcate here at Hillel Torah. We're thinking about Roni today, especially as we head into our Yom Atzmut celebration. In just a few moments, our eighth graders will begin this year's celebration, which surrounds the theme of Mechubarim, being connected, connecting the dots, which is our school theme this year, how appropriate for the times in which we're living, showing us how Israel is truly the place that connects us all. And we're going to start that in just a moment, but first I'd like to introduce Mr. Aviv Ezra, the Council General of Israel in Chicago, to deliver a few words of greeting. Shalom, everybody, from the Israeli Council to the Midwest, based in Chicago. I would like to wish all of you Happy Independence Day, Yom Atzmaut Sameach, and thank you for celebrating with us. These are unique times, and unfortunately we cannot gather in person like we used to do with thousands of friends and allies celebrating the Independence Day of the Jewish state. But we want to remain optimistic, and as Israelis, we always try to count our blessings. So let's try to do it together. One, in terms of combating the pandemic, the global pandemic, I'm honored and we are proud to see the great progress in Israel in terms of the vaccination program and in terms of the administration of the shots. And we look forward to a uh, move forward both in Israel and right here in the Midwest in optimistic scenarios to God willing be able to cope with the pandemic together. Two, we have celebrated just in the last year an amazing unprecedented move towards peace in Israel with the Abraham Accord bringing more than four states to the table in terms of peace accords with Israel. We have four of them already added to the two, Jordan and Egypt, and we look forward to additional ones in the pipeline. So we look forward to seeing all of you in Israel, and we're gonna have a nonstop flight coming from Israel to the Midwest through O'Hare and back, hopefully COVID permitting very soon. We look forward to hosting all of you in Israel. Thank you very much, and shalom. Welcome, Bruchem Abba'im, to our eighth grade Tekes for Israel's 73rd Independence Day. Our school theme throughout this year has been Mechovrim, Connect the Dots. We weave this theme into our Tekes Yom Ha'atzma'ut. With all our COVID restrictions, our eighth grade prepared our Yom Ha'atzma'ut presentation with great energy and enthusiasm. We looked at how Israel succeeded in bringing together people from faraway countries and cultures, speaking different languages, and connecting all of us. Jews in Israel and around the world worked together and built one of the most advanced and developed nations in the world um, and create a center of Torah, Mada, and culture. With great pride, I present to you our Tekes Yom Ha'atzma Ut Taf Shin Pei Aleph. Chag Sameach. יהודים מכל העולם הגיעו לארץ ישראל. כל אחד בא מסתרבות אחרת ודיבר שפה אחרת. האם הם יכולים לבנות מדינה ביחד? Jews from all over the world started arriving into Israel. Each spoke a different language, came from a different culture. Could they do 
something together? Could they build a state together? <laughs> The Russians are coming. Sasha? Krishka? Sasha! Krishka! Anakhova, Eretz Yisrael. Pova Eretz Khanda Tavot. Hey! Tidkajema Kolati Kvot. Hi Sasha, Ata Yodea, Ani Rusi Rofe, Gado Rofe. Yes, to Avoda Berofe? Ani Lola Dat. Gesein gesund. Anach Nuba Eret Israel, Poivne Bait, Poies Kultura, Tire, Tire, Hemba Imachshav. Jews from Yemen are making Aliyah. Are the Russians happy with the Yemen immigrants? No, yes, Nisima, the yes, Nisim. The Afish Kahat Kola Yeladi, Mamashkiva. Ech, Anachno Gomer Yom Avota, the Torah Kedzati. The Hulma Komish Malawa, the Slu, the Hilba, Kane Tarbus, Kane Nibus. Niet, Niet, the Dimma Wara Jan. The Moroccans are coming. Israel. <laughs> יש יותר כבוד, כולם היו יודעים אז טוב מאוד, למי למי, תמיד למי, יש יותר כבוד. כשהקרב היה בוער והכיתה לא ששה, המפקד היה אומר, אתה ראשון יא קאסה! כולם ידעו שקאסבלן ראשון תמיד לצעוק, ומאחור הם צעקו, כל הכבוד! Jews from the United States of America are making Aliyah. I am so tired after such a long flight. But we're finally in Israel. I'm so happy. Look how many Aliyim came with us. But I am really hungry. Oh my god. 
Oh, and what's for dinner? Dinner? Honey, we just got here. We can probably find a good kosher restaurant around here. After all, it is Israel, the land of the Jewish people. We can eat there tonight for dinner, tomorrow for lunch, tomorrow for dinner. Okay, okay, I get it. Can you believe this? After going to the Torah learning about Israel for years, and all the rabbi speeches every Shabbos at Shul, going to Washington once a year for IPAC, and planting trees for two weeks spot online. Okay, let's go home. Okay. Can all the immigrants come together to build Israel? Miskin, poor guy, he's so skinny. Hine, kach maloa. Ehelal vesalan, tagid, yeshlacha kabolata, matause. Hello, are you the delivery man? What are you doing? Ani, ah, zepashut, ani rak mechaber ben kulam. We are all connected. Mechubarim! Amechad Bishirechad. רוסית, גרמנית, ערבית, אבל איזו שפה הם יוכלו לדבר אחד עם השני? Jews arrived from different countries speaking many different languages, Russian, Arabic, French, Ladino. What language can they speak so they can communicate with each other? שלום תלמידים, היום אנחנו לומדים על... המרה, המרה, אני יודע! קני תמר. אלו החלוצים, the pioneers, שבאו לארץ ישראל. אבל, מה הם דיברו? רוסית, רומנית, גרמנית? שאלות שלך, שאלות שלך, that is a very good question. The pioneers also try to solve this issue. Let's see how. אני אליעזר וזורו דבורה. אנו מפולין. 
אנחנו עולים חדשים בארץ ישראל. Speak Russian, speak English or Arabic, but speak a language that someone here understands. אנחנו מדברים עברית, רק עברית. Call a translator, שמדבר very עברית. Or me? A translator, a translator. But no one here speaks Hebrew. יש יהודים שקוראים עברית בספרים הקדושים. זאת העברית שאני מדבר. Call a translator, call a translator. שלום, אני הטרנסלייטר. תגיד לה שאנחנו מדברים רק בעברית. מה? רק עברית? אתה משיגנה, משיגנה. חדה, מה גבול חדה? דבורה בן יהודה, בואי, אנחנו עולים לירושלים לבנות את הבית היהודי הראשון בארץ ישראל. אנחנו מדברים וחיים רק בעברית. Our mission is to connect all the Jews in ארץ ישראל. And we want to do that if we speak one language. Ivrit! <laughs> עברית פשוטה נקרא לזה כדור. כדור! ספטורה איך נאמר? עברי ריבה. לפופח הבובה. נקרא בובה. מה הבאת? ביסיקלטה. גם לזה כבר שנמצאת. יש אופן כאן, עוד אופן כאן, אופניי. כמובן! לרסטורן בן יהודה, לא רסטורן, אמור מסעדה. התרצה את האומלטה כבר עתה, מה זה אומלטה? חביתה. התועיל אולי לקחת, גב ג'לטו משובחת. לא ג'לטו, זאת גלידה. אה, גלידה, תודה, תודה. זה דחליל, זאת מקלחת, זה וילון. כאן הכל יכתוב בנחת במילון. חבירון, שעון, רכבת, עם חטע עיתון מגבת. זאת משקפת, זאת כפפה. אה, כפפה, מילה יפה. What will the newcomers eat in Israel? Jafnun, couscous, gefilte fish, sholent, or maybe pizza? Yes, all that, but they also needed special new Israeli unique foods. Yonatan, the gefilte fish is ready. Come eat. The gefilte is great. David, ya te hice la cena. Sube a la casa. Vente a cenar. Te hice quesadillas. Ooh la la, il est tard. Allez, 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 Alain. Viens manger la baguette et le croissant. Allez, allez, allez. Hi, Simoshka. Ma'am Haram. La'an at Ratsa. I need la cold. Vayomani rocha le moche. Mimasu. Falafel Tarif, Bobala, Natiya, Bari. 
ארץ ישראל הוא מרכז לימוד תורה ליהודים מכל העולם ובאיזה ישיבה אתה רוצה ללמוד? What kind of ישיבה do you want to be part of when you go to learn תורה in the center of תורה in מדינת ישראל? Hi, I'm Leah from Mexico. I was hoping you could help me. My friend wrote a fantastic ישיבה in Israel last year. I wanted to join her. Do you think you can help me find it? I have a directory of hundreds of yeshivas. Do you know where it was located? Yes, it was in Yerushalayim. You're going to have to be more specific than that. I think it was called Yeshiva Torah something? Let's see. Would that be Yeshiva Torah Chaim, Torah Emmet, Torah Shalom, Torah Chazet, Torah Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Yeshiva Torah Yosef, Torah Moshe, Torah David? I can keep going if you'd like. You know what? I think I'll just call her. Thanks anyways. Next. Hello, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Ben Dover from Austin, Texas. Oh, nice. How can I help you, Ben? I'm looking for a yeshiva where I can combine technology and halakha. Somewhere where I can ask questions like, when Sof Zaman Karad Shema for an astronaut? Or, can you use Alexa on Shabbat? Or, can Alexa help you find a minyan? Or how about... Yes, yes, yes. We'll be the perfect yeshiva for you. Here you go. Wow, awesome. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. I'm from France. I was hoping you could help me. I love, love, love Torah, especially Kabbalah, and I love, love, love art, especially sculptures, so I was hoping... Hmm. It's fucked. Here you go. Thank you so, so much. Next, please. Hi, I'm Galina from Russia, and I just found out I was Jewish like five minutes ago, but I totally wanted to study in Israel. Wonderful! Let's see. So you're totally new to Judaism, correct? Yep. Do you know your brachot? Bro, what? Do you know any Jewish songs? <laughs> no. Can you say the Shema? The Shema? No, I mean, you know what? Here you go. This is an awesome new show for Bali Chuba from Jerusalem. The what for who now? Ask them when you get there. Hello, what is your name? Where are you from? I'm David Shlomo from Jerusalem. How can I help you? Take care, have a show up. Mm, Next. I'm from Slovenia. Before you ask, yes, this is real place. So, what's your name? Ivan. Anyway, I'm looking for a shiva where I can combine my army services and learn Torah. Do you have anything like that? Yes, there's plenty of Hester yeshivas. Pick your favorite one. Feel free to keep them all. Avalavam. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Nava from America, and I'm looking for a yeshiva. It has the best of the best. You see, I have a degree from Yale, mm -hmm. and a master's degree from Harvard. I see. And I have a PhD from MIT. Uh-huh. And I graduated from Hillel Torah. 
Hello, Torah. For you, only the best of the best. After 73 years, Jews from all over the world continue to build the state of Israel together. This is a center of Torah learning where people communicate in Hebrew and eat Israeli food. Am Yisrael Chai. Israel is the 100th smallest country on the globe and has about one one thousandth of the world's population and threat of survival and possesses few natural resources. And yet, Israel is the only country in history to have revived an unspoken language. Since its founding, Israel has won the second highest number of Nobel Prizes per capita. Although the Jewish people are only 0.2% of the world population, Jews have received 22% of Nobel Prizes, constituting an inexplicable 11,250% above the statistical probability. Israel is the only country that entered the 21st century with a net gain in its number of trees, even more remarkable in an area that's mainly desert. Over 90% of Israeli homes use solar energy for hot water, the highest percentage of any country. Israeli companies are building the largest solar energy production facility in the world. Israel operates the world's largest desalination plant and is the number one country providing usable water from seawater. Israel's scientific research institutions are ranked third in the world and are ranked two in space sciences. Israel leads the world in medical patents and has revolutionized modern medicine. Oramed is changing the diabetes therapeutic paradigm by delivering insulin in a pill. Rewalk's exoskeleton allows paraplegics to walk. Orchem allows blind people to virtually see. Israel has more patents registered in the U.S. than Russia, India, and China combined, who have 300 times Israel's population. Israel's innovations have improved the way we work, print, drive, read, eat, drink, talk, exercise, and even play. Israel is the only liberal democracy in the Middle East, and its third largest party is often the Arab party. Israel has provided humanitarian aid and rescue services to over 140 countries, even to some that refuse to recognize it, like Syria and Lebanon. Israel is the third most educated country in the world, according to the OECD. Israel has the world's second highest number of new books per capita. Israel has the third highest rate of entrepreneurship among women in the world. And in 1969, Israel elected Golda Meir, the second female head of state in modern history. In proportion to its population, Israel has the largest number of high-tech startup companies in the world. In absolute numbers, Israel has more startups than any other country except the U.S. and China. Israel is the only country whose indigenous population returned to its native land after 2,000 years of forced exile. There are 26 official Muslim states in the world and 18 official Christian states, but there is only one Jewish state. Israel, a small place making a big difference.
I don't know if there is another nation in the world that in one condensed and loaded week, punctuated by sirens, opens itself to both deep grief and joyous pride, starting from the sirens piercing wail to remember what we lost in the ashes of the Holocaust, how we emerge from the fire Ud Mutzal Me'esh to rebuild an ancient new home for its people, then pierced again with the siren's wail of all the pain and loss it suffered fighting for its statehood and existence, and then goes on to celebrate its unprecedented growth and immense development all in one week. A holy nation we are called, a light unto the nation, an invention nation, a startup nation, Mamlechet Kohanim Vegoi Kadosh. How fortunate I have been to celebrate Yom Ma'ut with my Hillel Torah family for so many years since Israel's 35th Independence Day in 1983. Coming to Chicago from Israel, I could not find a better place than Hila Torah to celebrate my love to Israel and to all that it stands for. Since then, Israel and I too more than doubled our years and it was a lifetime schut and benefit for me to witness both the state of Israel as well as my favorite school, Hila Torah, grow, blossom, thrive, and achieve progress and excellence. This Yom Ma'ut is also the last time I'm overseeing the events of the Chag as director of Judaic studies. I thank Hashem for allowing me to be part of our Israel Studies program, to have helped grow our Ivrit Be'ivrit program, to connect our Torah learning to the best sources of knowledge and innovation, Chidush, emerging from Israel, Ki Metzion Torah, to work with beloved Shlichim and Bnot Shirut, with like-minded scholars and educators and help create a real, authentic, everlasting connection between our families, our students, our staff, and the people and the land of Israel. Toda Hashem for giving me this opportunity. Toda. I want to thank the people who helped create our Yom Ha'atzma'ut 73 event, which you all enjoyed today. Our Hila Torah entire staff for helping us celebrate our Jewish connection to Israel in such a meaningful and enjoyable way in spite of all the challenges and obstacles we faced every single day this school year. Thank you to administrative team who are supporting all our Israel projects, our play practices, and our programs. Toda Raba. Toda Raba to our Shlichim, the Shimons and the Hellmans, for bringing Israel to our school every day. Toda to Shani Payson and Aliza Rosenbaum for their creative contributions to our Hila Torah play, Yom Ma'ut play. A special thank you goes to our art department, Debbie Goldstein and her assistant, Sean Bauman, who worked tires, tirelessly and served in part as our missing Bnot Sherut to bring the spirit of Israel to all the corners of our building and to our Yom Ha'atzma'ut activities today. And now, to our eighth graders. Toda lachem machzot almidei machzot taf shin pei aleph class of 2021 for your wonderful collaborative efforts to create this presentation, for your creativity and humor and your talents and ideas. 
for your friendship and leadership and for your great ruach. Thank you to the Judaic Studies team for accommodating and helping to ensure that with all the time and space limitation, we brought this presentation to such successful fruition. And now to our eighth grade Ivrit dream team, Hadas Golan and our dynamic duo, Egal and Leo Kakon. Come on here. <laughs> For your unbelievable creative dedication and energy and endless time in producing this play, every aspect of it, every detail. En kamochem atem eser. We also want to take this opportunity to wish farewell and good luck to our New Olim, the Marmor family who are making Aliyah this summer. Hatzlachah <laughs> to you. We will miss Shira, Joey, and Manny, and we know that they will thrive in Israel. Achronim chavivim, Mishpachat Robinson, for sponsoring all our Israel studies and events through the Frida and Sheldon Zal Robinson Israel Program Initiative. Happy Yom Ha'atzma'ut to all. Am Israel Chai! Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I want to, one more thank you. No, no, don't go, don't go too far, Mrs. Friedman. You thanked so many people who are all so well-deserving, but this one person you did not thank that I want to single out before we conclude this morning's program, and that's Mrs. Friedman herself. Mrs. Friedman, as you spoke so eloquently, you've been involved in the Judaic Studies and Israel Studies program at Hillel Torah for so many years. And what we see here could not be possible without you. You've connected thousands of students to Israel. We, whether it's going and joining the army, whether it's making Aliyah, inspiring this connection with the Medinat Yisrael, that is your legacy here at Hillel Torah. And as you retire this summer from this position, although thank goodness staying on in a more uh, limited type of role, but still very, very involved in the school next year, we want to acknowledge you, we want to thank you so much, and we have a special presentation for you this morning. Todaraba, todaraba. And now we ask everyone to please face the Degel. We're going to sing Hatikva before we conclude the program. <laughs> students. Thank you, teachers. Thank you all for joining us. Chag Sameach. Yom Atzmaut Sameach.